pole vault squad is a little bit smaller uh, this year. We had a, a really large group last year, seven guys and seven girls. Um, this year we have uh, nine uh, vaulters on, on the team. But even though the quantity is down, the quality is really high. Overall, we've had a really good fall. Um, almost all of them have set um, short run and mid run PRs and we're just now pushing back to our long runs. Uh, and so overall in terms of speed and strength and technical development, it's a good fall. Everyone's ahead of where they were this time last year. They're ready. They're ready now to start competing and let the competitions pull that last little bit um, out of them. In terms of key returners on the guy's side, um, you know, we have three All-American, Torben Leidig and uh, Deacon Bowles and Brad Johnson. You know, Torben and Brad have been conference champions and Deacon was just a freshman last, last year um, but medaled at the, uh, at the conference and then went on to have an outstanding um, uh, summer season including the, uh, winning the, the U-20 World Championships over in Poland. I think the exciting thing about, about Deacon is that um, you know, he's, you know, we're, we're making steady improvements um, and you know, he has a lot of physical gifts um, and it just is a matter of time before we can pull those things out. And you know, over in, at the U-20 championships, um, you know, his, his, uh, his back tightened up just a little bit after uh, um, the 18-6 bar. Um, and so we decided to stop jumping because he'd already won it. Um, but his jumps there were, were of a caliber that would have cleared something higher yet. You know, he was, he was ready to jump another bar or two. And, uh, um, you know, so he can, his, his, his running me mechanics continue to get better. His work on the poles can, continues to get better. And so he's, he's got a, a pretty bright future with three more years of eligibility um, left. Um, and, uh, you know, so that's exciting for me. Um, um, you know, Torben is healthy and way ahead of where he was last year. Um, he's got this year and next year. Um, so those two guys, um, you, know, the, the, you know, they could, they could make some, you know, some noise in terms of even world rankings. And so we're, we're excited to have them here. And on the girls' side, um, Erica uh, was jumping fantastic last outdoor at a level that would have gotten her to the national meet when she uh, hurt her toe. Um, but that's that. Uh, she, you know, she's over that injury now and training well, and so um, I, I look for her to also, um, you know, be a big contributor. Hannah uh, is back, scored at both the indoor and outdoor conference meets last year. Last year was, um, you know, a couple of things that the team did was was really amazing. With the quality of athletes we have coming back, I really think that they've they can accomplish some some really great things again this year. Our competition schedule is pretty typical. Um, we do a lot of home meets indoors, which I think is good because the kids get off to a good start in their academics for the, for the spring semester. Um, we do go to Notre Dame for the uh, conference championship. Um, we've not jumped there before, but I think it's always fun to jump in a new facility and the guys are really excited about, about that meet. Um, outdoors, we open the season with Texas Relays, which is always a high quality meet. The kids jumped really well there last year. They're looking forward to going back there again this year to kick off the uh, to kick off the outdoor season you know and then uh, you know once again we're scheduled for the outdoor NCAA championships in Oregon and that's a special place to compete and so you know people are excited about the, the meets that are on the schedule.